Hi folks, some of you may have noticed that uh, I didn't finish the section three. Uh, I only did the uh, multiple choice part. Now this is the open-ended answer part and you generally are gonna find that these are a little bit easier than some of the multiple choice. Uh, if, you're, if you're not going to get finished with the multiple choice, it's better to skip the last couple and go on and do these. So this first question says, t squared minus four equals zero. What is the value of t if t is greater than zero? Clearly t is two. Uh, you add four and take the square root and t is two. Um, I'm not gonna put, talk about how you substitute it into the answer sheet and all that. Uh, the main thing you wanna do is not put 2.0 or 2.00. Uh, let's see, number 17, we've got a, a lake and this is how you uh, can measure uh, across the lake uh, without actually having to, to walk the lake, which you can't do. So it's an indirect measurement. It says that A, B, E, B, B, D, and C, D on the sketch can be 1,800. So A, B is 1,800. And uh, E, B is 1,400. And uh, B, D is 700. And uh, B, C is 800. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, C, D is 800. And they want to know what is the value of X? Well, this is uh, angle angle, this angle is also equal to this angle because they're vertical angles. And angle angle means that we have similar triangles. The trick here is to realize which side is similar to which side. And um, you have to realize that the 800 goes with the X, of course, but the, the big problem is that the BC goes with the uh, AB. So, uh, the EB goes with the uh, EB, let's see, got to make sure I get the right one. EB goes with BD, yep. A and C are the similar angles. In other words, this angle right here, and I realize I usually don't put three of them, but a and C are similar, so the 700 goes with the 1400. That means that this triangle is twice as big, which makes X 1600 feet. Um, you can cross multiply and solve it, but it's just as easy to see that it's uh, ang triangle BCD is half as big, so it makes the other triangle twice as big. All right, so 18, let's take a look at 18 here. According to the system of equations, what is the value of x? We're going to change the sign of the x, the y. Okay, so I end up with negative x minus y equals positive 9, and x plus 2y is equal to negative 25. And when we add those together, let me move myself out of the way here. Uh, when we add these together, we end up with negative 16 is equal to y. And when we substitute the negative 16 and add 16 to both sides, uh, it looks like we end up with seven. So, and I'm gonna double check it, just to check the bottom one, negative 32 and seven is negative 25. And I, I like to check it in my head at the very least. So uh, X is seven. Uh, in the right triangle, one angle measures X degrees. The sine of X is four over five. What is the cosine of 90 minus X? Well, we call these um, conjugates, uh, sorry, not well, they're conjugates, but they're, they also happen to be complements. And the cosine of a complement is exactly the same as, well, could be exactly the same as the sine, um, assuming that the uh, angle is between zero and 90. So four fifths is the correct answer. A lot of people are going to go with the three-fifths answer on this one, but that's not correct because they want to know uh, what is the complements. Uh, cosine and sine are equal. All right, this last one, it says A is 5 root 2, so I'm going to substitute 2 times 5 root 2 
is equal to the square root of 2x. So I want 10 root 2 to be the same as the square root of 2x. A lot of people are going to multiply both sides, or, or sorry, uh, square both sides and yada, yada, yada. But for me, uh, this is clearly the case where the 100 came out of the radical and uh, the 10 is the pair. So 200, the square root of 200 is equal to 10 root 2, meaning that the x is equal to 100, not the 200. So x is 100. You can go through more, uh, you know, more steps for algebra, but uh, hopefully with enough practice, if you watch some of my uh, videos from, uh, from the uh, Algebra 1 on IXL, you can uh, do s simplifying radicals and be pretty good at that. So x is 100. Uh, the one I, I skipped before, uh, some people may have noticed that I skipped number 11 by accident. So I'm going to go back and do number 11 from the other section. It says that uh, in the equation above, B and C represents the price per pound of beef and chicken. Uh, what uh, X weeks after July 1st last summer, what was the price per pound of beef when it was equal to the price of uh the pound per chicken so we want them to be equal to one another uh we're going to just do substitution and we end up with uh 2.35 uh minus the 1.75 i'm i'm setting them equal to one another and then subtracting the 0.25 on both sides and subtracting the 1.75 on both sides and i get 0 0.1 Oh, I can't write on that part. Uh, this is going to be 0.15x is equal to, when I subtract these, it looks like I get 60. So x is equal to 4. So this is four weeks when it occurs, when the price is the same. And four weeks later is $1.60 plus $1.75, which makes, wait a minute, oh, uh, a minute, it's four weeks later, right? So that's going to be 335. There it is, 335. Let's make sure it works over here. Four is a dollar sixty. Yep, 335. Yep, that's the one. So D is correct. So there you have it. Um, we actually went under the time limit, which is 25 minutes. Uh, time to fill in the little dots and double check my answers and so on. And hopefully you guys got some insight into uh, how to do some of the problems. One of the things I'll mention before I go is when you're filling in the dots on a, a hand fill in type, uh, just be careful. Don't put improper, fra uh, uh, sorry, mixed numbers. Improper fractions are okay, but mixed numbers are not. The other problem is uh, you don't want to put 2.50. You don't want to have unnecessary zeros. The only time they're allowed is when you're filling in for money. Uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, hope you guys liked it. And I will see you back. Bye.